So we have a simple project here I've set up purely to show you how to automate Veriverb Pro on a guitar bus. Of course, normally you would have several guitars routed to a bus, giving you the ability to control the overall level of multiple guitars. But for this tutorial I'm using just one guitar track. So the idea is I want to turn off the reverb at certain points in the guitar part. Make sure the guitar bus is selected, which it is. Then make sure you have Show Automation enabled by ticking the box here. If you click on the Effect box, you can see in the drop-down menu, there is a choice between Track Automation and Object Automation. This is different to Samplitude 11 because in 11 there's two buttons, whereas in Pro X the buttons have been replaced with tick boxes and the Object Automation tick box relocated to the Object Editor. But anyway, make sure you have Track Automation enabled. So I've selected the guitar bus and the very verb is inserted. So the next thing I'm going to do is go where it says Effect and click on the box. Towards the bottom of the list you can see the name Veriverb Pro. Then from the list I'm choosing number 20 which is Bypass. This enables an automation curve represented by a green dotted line. What I want to do is bypass the reverb and turn it on at the point where the guitar chord sustains. If you're in universal mouse mode, you can double click on the automation curve to insert an automation point or node. Then double click to the left to insert a second one. So I'm left clicking and dragging the left one to the top. When I press play, the reverb will be bypassed until it reaches the automation point. So that's good. Now I want to turn it back on at the point where the next chord begins. So I'm double clicking to insert another automation point, then double clicking to the right to insert another and dragging it up. Let's see how that works. Now I want to turn the reverb on again for the next sustained chord. I'm double clicking to insert the first automation point and then double clicking to the right of it then pulling it down to the bottom so this part will be reverb enabled. Let's listen to that bit. So let's listen to the entire part complete with automation. So that's how you automate an effect on a bus. This technique also works when the effect is inserted directly on the track. Plus, of course, you can automate any of the other parameters which show up in the Veriverb automation list.